This week, the real review is featuring organic wines. And I have here three Pinot Noirs, all produced organically. The first one from the Mornington Peninsula in Australia, we have Polpero, Talland Hill, 2019 Pinot Noir. Then we have from Central Otago, New Zealand, two paddocks, proprietors reserve, the Fusilier Pinot, Pinot Noir, 2018. And finally, we have uh, a very beautiful label here, it's Greystone Vineyard Ferment Pinot Noir 2018 from North Canterbury, New Zealand. I'm Hugh and Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. So today we're tasting Greystone Vineyard Ferment Pinot Noir 2018, which comes from the North Canterbury region of the South Island of New Zealand. So the backstory of this wine is that the wine was fermented in a, in, in a fermenting vat in between the vine rows in the actual vineyard where the grapes were picked. The theory is that if you ferment this wine in the vineyard, it will be fermented by the exact same yeasts that are in the vineyard and not, not, not winery yeasts or yeasts that have been added, added out of a packet. That would be something completely different altogether. The bouquet is very, very perfumed. It's, um, oh, it's hard to describe. Yes, there are the cherry, raspberry, strawberry spectrum of aromas there, more the red fruits than the black fruits, definitely. Um, and the spicy characters are there too. So dried herbs, brown spices, really a very, very complex amalgam of aromas. And when you come to taste it, I think we'll find that it's not a powerful, big-bodied wine. A lot of people taste with their eyes and they would think, oh gosh, that's going to be a really light Pinot Noir. But in fact, the intensity of flavour is terrific. Uh, it doesn't lack power and depth of flavour. Um, it is light on the tongue. Yes, it's not a heavy wine at all. It's not tannic, it's not uh, oaky, it's not extractive. Um, it really dances across the tongue beautifully. That's a lovely, lovely wine. An appropriate dish for this wine would be something quite delicate. We've chosen Neil Perry's lamb meatballs with onion salad and hummus. Um, lamb would be good with this. Uh, lamb is not too strong a flavour. And the, uh, the recipe, I think, is, is subtle enough for this wine to handle it very well indeed. So the wine we're about to taste is Two Paddocks, Proprietors Reserve, the Fusilier, Bannockburn Vineyard Pinot Noir 2018. Obviously Central Otago, but it's a single sub-region, in fact, a single vineyard wine from the Bannockburn area. Sam Neill, of course, needs no introduction. Um, world famous actor and all round good guy. And this wine is certified organic by BioGrow, which is a New Zealand certification body. And um, all of his vineyards are actually certified organic. And when I smell it, it smells really, really interesting. It's not just simple fruit. The main fruit character you get in Pinot Noir is cherry, perhaps. This has got all sorts of spice and smoky aromas, smoked charcuterie, that kind of thing. It's like walking into a delicatessen and smelling all those lovely smoked meats. All that goes together to form a very complex bouquet. Let's have a taste. That wine has real charm to it. It's got complexity, it's got delicacy, it's got subtlety. It's a, such a beautiful drink. Um, you don't have to wait for a wine like that. It's three years old and it's drinking beautifully now. It'll last for quite a few years yet. I'd give it, say, eight, another eight years for a lifespan. Uh, but I can't see any reason why you wouldn't be drinking it yet. It's so gorgeous. So the dish we recommend with this wine is pappardelle with duck ragu and porcini mushroom. I think that puts together all of the critical things that you've got to have with Pinot Noir, duck and, and mushrooms being two of them. So I think it's a fantastic idea. We're going to taste a very good Mornington Peninsula Pinot Noir. It's Polpero Talland Hill 2019. It's a, a wine which has been certified organic and biodynamic. Um, Sam Coverdale from Polpero produces a, a number of different Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. Uh, but as far as I know, Talland Hill is the only vineyard 
which is certified organic and biodynamic. And that knows as well. It, it backs up the impression that I have that this is a serious Pinot Noir. It's really got a big volume of nose. It's got a lot of those dark cherry characters, not so much the strawberry or red cherry or lighter aromas. There's real heart in this wine. I can, I can smell from just looking at it and smelling it. A lot of dried herb aromas. The, the, the fruit aroma is at the darker end of the spectrum rather than the redder end of the spectrum. It's a really ripe and rich wine. Let's have a taste. Everything I thought about the wine is being confirmed by the taste. This is a, quite a, a rich Pinot Noir, lots of body, lots of strength to it. Depth of flavour is marvellous. It just goes on and on in your mouth. It lingers for a long time. There's tannin there. A lot of Pinot Noirs are light and don't have much tannin. This has got structure. The dish that we recommend with this wine is Adam Lior's slow, slow roasted leg of lamb with garlic yogurt and milk bread. Sounds really good to me. If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review. Good health.